What up, people? It's your boy, and Master Judy out here with another comic review. So I got Red Hood Outlaw 44, and I'm going to have to guess, since the team is back together, this is probably going to change back to the original title of Red Hood and the Outlaws, but that's neither here nor there. Let's get started. So if we all remember Isabel Ardu Ardilla, full name, you know, she recently, um, uh, she recently had, uh, She's recently been possessed. But it's interesting, let's say, to the extent there's always been a war between good and evil, she's always been a non-combatant. She's down-to-earth, honest, compassionate young woman who has prompted Jason Todd to occasionally ponder the virtues of a normal life. All that changed 24 hours ago, while she remains blissfully unaware of her new status quo. So she's a flight attendant. So she goes in, tries to get um, tries to get uh, to her hotel, you know, to rest up. Let me see this man. Saying that, hey, what up? We were on the same flight. How about I grab your bags to the hotel? And he's like, is this the way to? Yep, it's a shortcut to your hotel. Then he sees it. She sees it's a dead end, and she's like, yes, human. Emphasis on dead. And then we see that these um things, these um demons that have been coming about, have been attacking humans to convert them to one of them own. But we see that um essence took over her body through the sword and she realizes that she doesn't know what's happening she's like, dear god what's happening to me oh i only see darkness i can't move my limbs and then essence is like calm down isabel we share this body now i'm not gonna let anything happen to it i brought it here for a reason the hunt has begun be grateful the blood blade let you come out to play at all all cast <laughs> pretty much it's too late to stop us <laughs> So she's a member of the All Cast, a group that Jason used to be a part of and left. And she's an essence. She's the only human descendant of an ancient order known as the All Cast. She trained beside Jason Todd when he first came back to life. They were friends, lovers, and eventually bitter enemies. Perhaps. But you will not be alive to share in the Untitled's victory, which is the new name of the group. The Red Hood of the Atlas has turned into a very supernatural type of thing. But... And we see the unchosen one. Um, Paulo Pantana, Pantalena's art has grown on me. It seems to be that he was heavily influenced by Romina Jr. But it seems to be a little bit smoother. So meanwhile, in Quark, which is where they are at, everybody's at, um, Jason and Bazaar are doing some undercover work at a stand um, because Captain Glory here, they're working for him. Uh, they try to um, basically uh, find out um, what's going on with the um, with the untitled. <laughs> so we just see them at a stand. The regular food, um, the regular food um, vendors here. It's like, yeah, I check, but I'm proud of these people. They fought a long civil war to get to the place where they can give democracy a fighting chance. They demand purpose of government, free elections, hopes in the air, hope in something evil. That's why we're here. And we get this weird face of Jason right here, looking looking weird. So we'll look to the Red Hut. How may I help you? They say, I actually have an affinity for customer service. I already gave the big one my order. And Jason's like, oh, okay. <laughs> here I'm go. Have a great protest. And Jason's like, you want to quit the outlaw thing and open a food truck with me? Me, I'm just happy to be around humans. It's been a long time. It's like, this one is not only interesting. You two need to focus on the mission at hand. General Glory. <laughs> That's his name. It's like, I told you, General, we didn't agree to any mission. We are only here because we have similar objectives for the moment. And we all want to find out what they wanted with those obelisks last issue. It's like, yes, our mutual enemy. They barely named Untitled. He calls himself General Glory. Really. He used to be a superhero before age. The good old U.S. pulled him out of retirement for the special assignment. Lucky for us. <laughs> I think to the human race that transcends borders, I'm afraid. Our intel says at least one or several are here in Quark. But I'll be damned if we can't locate a single one of them. Trust me when I say the magnitude of, this, of the threat. It's the only reason I would ever freelance out to you bozos. And Jason's like, bozos? This is how you talk to friends? There is no world where... Sorry, General. Hungry people. <laughs> wait. <I'll> wait. <laughs> Meanwhile, we got this nice picture of Artemis Grace. And we just see unironically named Palace nearby, which is, you know, funny. 
And so Artemis is like saying that my name is Artemis Grace, formerly an Amazon of Banna and McDowell. I'm currently one third of the outlaws. Even more currently, I'm working undercover, hence the hair. So her hair has grown back, but she's dyed it black <laughs> so that she won't be recognized. Because clearly, a couple of issues ago, her face, well, her hairstyle makes her recognizable. But I like that the hair is back in action, looking like Artemis. And so, and then we just see this guy said, Splendid. You are quite skilled for a woman, I said, Grr. When I learned through my connections and certified Amazon was switching to some services, I could scarcely believe my luck. My royal elites are without peer, or oh, what they can learn from a warrior of your pedigree. <laughs> so, sake, this interview was strictly to show you my skills as a bodyguard, Colonel. So, sake, I will not sully my sisters by leading an ar- by leading your army, and you just see, I can pay more than you can imagine. Money is no longer my prime motivation, Colonel. I made that mistake long ago. Never again. So clearly, when she hired her services out to Lex Luthor. <laughs> and then we just see the guy, the general, is like, yep, oh, bodyguard it is. Come along. So help me, goddess, Jason. It's like, not his fault this time. We are following General Glory's lead on this. So back to um, Jason. It's like, the crowd has moved on. We need to get out on the street and see what's happening, B. Mia, right behind you. And we just see <laughs> General Glory's like, absolutely not. You are authorized. You are not authorized to wander about. He's like, taught out. It's like, what in the Sam Hick happened to the signal? Get it back now. I'm pretty sure he hung up, sir. So he's like, oh. It's like, we haven't had a ton of time to just talk, you and me, since you got back. I never got to apologize for not finding you and Artemis. And then Bizarre's like, me and Artemis were in like another reality. We sure you did everything you could. It's like, I blame myself for I blame myself for you and leaving in the first place. It's like, yeah, this is kind of uh, editing here. <laughs> it's like, if me, I remember right. Bizarro and Red Hood made own choices. Yep, Red Hood and the Outlaws 25, and it's true, they made their own choices. Hard to imagine that's almost 20 issues ago. And Jason's like, yeah, even though you made your own choices, we're still a team. And if we aren't there for each other, what are we? And then Bizarro lays some wisdom. How and put this? Red him overthinks too much. <laughs> it's like, philosophical Bizarro is going to take... So I'm getting used to. I don't know how to feel about you being so profound. Don't worry, Red Him. Me, I'm same bizarre as always. But it's like, if you am, say so. <laughs> I always like their relationship. But they go back and they see, they're walking in the crowd. They don't see any untitled. But he's like saying, but it's not that easy. It's like, I remember the first time I tried. It was with Dukra, den mom of all the all casts. She was in the New 52. This is when Jason was... Resurrected recently, it's like, London is boring. Only idiots and clouds are bored. Thing. Now hunting. We're hunting, now pay attention. Back when we were pretty close. Yeah, the untitled. But all I see are tourists and locals. Please tell me you are mimicking an idiot for comedic effect. The untitled hide, incubate inside of unsuspecting human hosts. They have been for centuries. We should be grateful they have yet to propagate on their own. You can't just see them. You have to look for them with your heart. And she, he's just remembering she believed in me, even when I didn't. Or maybe just admit you got this wrong. Oh, great raisin. Closed mouth, open heart, terror always reveals itself. Fine. I'll try. And then he realizes that he used his heart, in his essence, <laughs> to find out that the untitled are within human beings. And he's, like, shocked. And it's like... Put that all blade away. You're going to get us all killed. Eh? This is an exercise, not a suicide mission. <laughs> and it reverts back saying, it's funny, after all these years, it still feels like yesterday. You might not believe, but there was a time I was a hothead who thought I had all the answers. <laughs> this and Bizarro saying nothing. <laughs> so it's like, please. Meanwhile, we get back to Ma Gunn's place. New crib, everything. And she's she used to run a sprawling criminal enterprise using lost boys throughout the, throughout the country. In her donut, she realizes she has a lot to make up for. The villain formerly known only as the Brain. And then, of course, the Brain. And then they used to have some history. Say, too long, Ernst, I am certain. Given your history with the Brotherhood, explain to me why I should hire you to him. And we just see uh, Monsieur. Well, thank you. Of course. 
And Ma is like, he doesn't like me. He doesn't like anyone I find enchanting. So they're discussing some business. So meanwhile, you know, there are protests happening in Quark. And this guy's like millennial students, dissidents. Every few years, they gather together to rise up to find their voice. But you have to give them the opportunity to speak, to feel they're being heard. It's a sign of magnanimity that I am here to keep you alive during these protests, Colonel. I will charge extra to listen to your future self-aggrandizement. Keep others just suspecting, and you will. It's like, shush, shush. I can feel it before I see it. Something ancient. And the guy's like, what's happening? Something dark. So meanwhile, Artemis saves the colonel. They're running away. And we see that <laughs> his men have been stu- have been dismembered. And he thinks they're students, but they're not. We see it's Essence <laughs> and Artemis. Jason certainly knows how to find fine women, no doubt. <laughs> so I say, because you're a friend of the family, I will allow you to live. If you step away from the vile creature, I have come to eviscerate. With that, I allowed you a similar familiar consideration. <laughs> essence. <laughs> it's like, involving yourself in local politics, Essence? I would think that was a little beneath you. I have reason to believe your boss here is working with the untitled. Perpetuating a gathering. I will know why. It's like Jason says your suspicions, Essence. <laughs> Hence my ruse. Rather than fight, we should marshal our strength for a greater good. And then we just see he managed to cut. She met Artemis managed to get a little parting cut. It's like last chance to work together. <laughs> and so they begin to fight. But meanwhile, we see the protest, you know, the usual. Everything like that working. And uh, we just see Major Glory, I mean, General Glory, it's like, thank you, turn off your radio, soldier. That is not acceptable. I'm not your soldier, so screw off. I turned it off so I could sniff out on title. I'm not getting anything, so why don't you pack up and... Then it hit me. I've been looking for terror. It's like, they're here. They? How many? A dozen, maybe less. Okay, fine. But why aren't we being affected? Because we're soldiers, which makes us cynical as hell. The untitled here are preying on fear or hate, because there isn't any in these people. They're preying on their hope. Precisely. Optimism is a powerful drug. Imagine our luck to find an entire country wanting for something more. Sake, like, what in God's son? We have to stand down. The untitled have never been this bold. They wouldn't have tried this without the obvious general. Then to hell with this crap, to this clandestine craft. We find those obvious and we destroy them. So only fight the ugly things, right? Yes, Pete. Everyone else, get the hell out of here. It's like everything I read about what you said when you what you said you were a homicide maniac, son. So why does it seem that you're you like like you're taking this personally? Because it is personal. These people just wanted a chance. The untitled took their greatest strength and used it against them. The people of Quarak are not going to fall. This is the last day of the untitled work, the earth. Promise. And we see a little bit of a hero, Jason. And so, next one, we have Red Hood versus the Untitled. Artemis summons her mistress, so she gets that back in the next issue, I believe. And this arm master's an excellent falafel. So where do I want to stop it? Um, I'll stop it here. I like this picture. So, this was a, this was a pretty nice issue. Give this a good uh, 8.5 out of 10, you know. It's a little bit of dialogue here and there, but the story progresses. And... Um, like I said, people were renege on the new 52 Red Hood and the Outlaws. But I really think it's because Scott Lepdell never got to finish this part of his story or expand upon it. Since he um, left uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws mid the series. And hence, we have this. So once again, I like it. I think this is good. And, you know, the New 52 stuff is not bad once you give it time to flesh out or you have better ideas to think upon it. Ambition needs a little bit of clarity and a little bit of patience. (laughs) Profound. But thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notifications. Make sure you hit the bell so that you receive all my notifications. Once again, I do these reviews for you, the people. It's one success, good comics, get your views on them. Thank you all for watching. And I hope to have more videos up when I can. Peace.